The following program is brought to you by Johnny's Radiator and More. Family owned and operated for over 45 years. We are more than a radiator shop. Come see what the more is all about. Brakes, alignments, suspension, shocks, struts, tires, lift kits, radiator, AC repair, oil change, water pumps, fuel pumps, and more. Don't forget, Johnny's has a full line of AC parts in stock for all heavy-duty makes and models, logging, farming, construction, and heavy-duty trucks. AC parts specialist with over 35 years' experience. Call 870-226-5000 to get an estimate or make an appointment today. Coach, good to have you again with us. Um, 46-14 win last week over Whitehall. Just how, how big was it to bounce back after that, that week zero loss? Yeah, we know we needed it uh, as a football team for morale purposes and, and then get to play a lot of kids like we were able to. But, you know, I thought we executed well on both sides of the ball. I thought offensively, uh, uh, you know, we did a really good job of running and throwing. I thought uh, Aaron had, had a little bit better game. I still think he he's going to have an improvement every game. I think every week he's going to get better and better. And, and our run game's going to get better and better. Offensive line done done good, obviously. But... You know, it's just a process right now of trying to get better each week and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we can take something out of that for this week and, and be better next week. I was going to ask you about Aaron. Just just what's his ceiling? Because obviously, I mean, well, what's he doing to improve? I mean, he, look, he looks like he's, last week especially, took a step up. Yeah, he's extremely fast. You know, he's extremely fast. He works hard in the weight room. He's strong. Uh, right now, it's just confidence. I mean, he has no confidence playing running back. and. Uh, and, and that's because he's never played it before. But I think, you know, at, the more reps he gets, the more comfortable he gets, the better he's going to be. And uh, I think he has a chance to be uh, to be really good and uh, and be explosive back there. And, and he can catch the football. I know he had a, had a tough drop the other night, but I think he can catch the football. And um, that's going to be another weapon that we have. But, you know, right now it's just, just a process of him some gaining some confidence and and hopefully getting better and, and, and seeing something. I thought late in the game he broke one for about 50, and I think that helped him a little bit. Uh, Josiah Steen, uh, Braxton Hembry, Blaze Fellows all had interceptions last week. I know it's still work to do, but just where, where are you with your defense? Obviously, got to be happy with last week creating those turnovers. Yeah, we got to be better against the run. Obviously, the first week against Greenbrier, they, uh, you know, they, they ran for over 300 yards against us. Uh, Last week, Whitehall kind of came out in some formations we wasn't ready for with two tights. And, uh, you know, I thought our kids played hard. Uh, I mean, we got to do a better job of, of getting, you know, more athletes on the field. I thought Xavier Miller played well. He had over 10 tackles. And, uh, you know, obviously we had three turnovers and they, they were big. But, uh, I mean, we're a work in progress. You know, we, we want to be really good starting in week four. And uh, really don't know our identity right now on either side of the football. And, you know, we're still trying to find ourselves a little bit. Uh, just obviously from week zero with Cam kind of getting thrown into the chaos there to, to last week, uh, what, how do you think you – what improvements did you see out of Cam? Uh, man, you know, he's just so poised back there. You can tell uh, that, that he's just like uh, – he's like he's been doing it for a long time and he don't, he don't get into no hurry uh, as far as making reads. We got to do a better job of catching the football. You know, we had some obvious drops and we, we can't have that. And, uh, you know, he's, he's different as, as far as, uh, you know, when we call a play, like, uh, you know, he, he understands coverages. Uh, you know, anytime you play D-back as much as he played as, uh, as a sophomore and see all the different looks that we got, and we played so many different coverages. We played as a junior, I'm sorry. But uh, he, knows, he knows defenses really well. So if they jump in cover two or, or cover four or cover three or mini or, or whatever coverage, you know, he can see it like the one, the, the, the touchdown to, to Traymond. He knew he was going to Traymond before the snap. Just by cut, he knew that, that they were playing a coverage where, where Traymond was man and he got it out real quick. And uh, I think that's just a tribute to him, knowledge wise, of knowing the coverage before uh, when, when we lined up. Uh, late, late on with the, the game kind of put in the in the bag, you were able to get some guys on maybe a little deeper on the depth chart. Any, anybody stand out and have a good ball game? Uh, you know, it's hard to tell. Uh, yeah. You know, we, we got a lot to clean up. You know, obviously our, our kicking game is not very good right now, especially the extra points, field goals. And it goes back to, you know, the snap, the hold, the kick. Uh, you know, we got, we, we're up 33 nothing or whatever score. Well, I don't know what score was. And we get one blocked and, um, and and they run it back for a touchdown. And, you know, that's stuff that we can't have in a big ball game, you know. And that's, that, that's the scary thing that we got to improve on. And 
Um, you know, we, we, we're just a work in progress. We, we play a lot of kids uh, throughout the first three quarters, you know, not just the fourth quarter, but, you know, we just, we just want everybody to keep getting better. And then, you know, we get a week off after this week, which we need, uh, honestly, just to, just to kind of, you know, step back, take a deep breath, and, and get ready for conference season. Uh, your next opponent, Elkins, um, they, they've they've dropped 103 points, I think, in two games. Uh, just what, what what do you have to deal with in the uh, in the Elks? Oh, uh, they're really good. You know, I mean, they're they're experienced. Uh, they got eight or nine starters back on offense, and I mean on defense. I'm sorry, on defense, they play extremely hard. Uh, they get after you. Uh, they made the semifinals last year. Lost to Harding Academy. Really good football game. Uh, offensively, very explosive, like you said. Uh, running back, really, really fast. He's 6'1", 200 pounds, can run. Uh, they throw it all over the field. and It's going to be a huge test for us. You know, it's going to be a huge test. Uh, I fear they're going to play extremely fast. They don't have many guys going both ways, which we do. And uh, It's going to be great for our kids, the experience of going to play at Arkansas Tech. Uh, you know, I think we'll have a pretty good atmosphere there. And, uh, it's going to be a fun football game, especially for a week three game. Uh, in Arkansas high school football, it's a pretty big game. I'm assuming this is the kind of game that, that your kids look forward to playing in. It's a big ball game. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I, mean, I wouldn't say it's a big ball game. Now, we've downplayed that a lot. I have. Mm. Uh, you know, our big ball game starts next, you know, two weeks from now. And uh, this game really don't mean anything. If you look back over the, uh, the past years, you know, and I mean, Stuttgart beat us pretty good in, in, in non conference games a couple times. And we came back in the playoffs and beat them pretty good. So, you know, they, they, you got to understand, win or lose Friday night, it means nothing. They're not giving out rings Friday night after the game. Uh, they're not giving out a trophy. Uh, you know, everything is about, you know, taking it taking it as what it is. And and what our, our job is is to go get better, uh, you know, Friday night, and then be ready for, for the playoffs down the road. And, and we might face them again. You never know that. And, and the thing about it is you don't want to put too much into this one uh, when, when, when that could happen. I normally don't do this, but I think you mentioned it. Game is at Arkansas Tech, uh, Friday night kickoff at seven. I believe we've got a link for our for our um, readers on uh, Saline River News now officially. Um, uh, just want to see a big crowd, obviously from Warren. How does that? Will that bring in a big a big Warren contingency? Will that that maybe give well, you guys a little I think so. I up? think that with with uh, you know just me getting messages this week with Arkansas playing at home on Saturday and people driving that way and. And you know they're going to stop by and watch. And I don't know if it's going to be live streamed or not. I have not heard. I heard earlier in the week it wasn't. Uh, just to try to get more ticket sales up. Uh, because it's not us doing it. It's uh, uh, Arkansas Sports Network just, just ab absolutely just, just, just sponsoring it. So, uh, you know, I, I have no clue about the live stream or anything like that. I think you might have to go to be able to do it. Uh, be able to see the game. But I think it's going to be a great high school football game with a, with a great atmosphere. Coach, thank you, and we'll uh, see you Friday night. All right, thank you.